Hello everyone, so we've started learning about trinomials and this lesson we are just going to practice. So if you want, you can pause the video and give these a try. With number 1, we look at the number at the end, which is a 4, and we know that 4 is the same as 4 times 1 or 2 times 2. 4 times, or 4 and 1 could definitely make minus 3. How? By saying minus 4 plus 1. So what we do is we open up two brackets and we have x and x and then a 4 and a 1 and we said that the 4 is negative and the 1 is going to be positive. With this one over here we look at the number 8 which is 8 times 1 or 2 times 4. 8 and 1 can make minus 7 so we open up two brackets and we say x and x. How does 8 and 1 make minus 7? Well it's minus 8 plus 1 so we say minus 8 and plus 1. Here we're using a which is perfectly fine. We look at the number 20 and 20 is the same as 20 times 1, 10 times 2, or 5 times 4. And so we know that a 5 and a 4 could make minus 9 by saying minus 5 minus 4. So we open up our two brackets. Now we'll say a and a minus 5 minus 4. So notice that with trinomials you could have a minus and a plus, a minus and a plus, a minus and a minus. You could have any combination. Okay, with the next one we're using y, so we know that 18 is 6 times 3, or 18 times 1, or 2 times 9. We could make the number minus 3 by using 6 and 3. How would we do that? By saying minus 6 plus 3. And so you're going to have two brackets where you're going to have y minus 6 and y plus 3. Here's another 4. So we look at this 12, and that's the same as 3 times 4. 2 times 6 or 12 times 1. We would use 12 times or 12 and 1 could make minus 11. So how would you make minus 11? Well you would have minus 12 plus 1. So what we do is we open up the brackets and we say x and x and you put in minus 12 plus 1. 30 is the same as 10 times 3. Now I want to quickly explain something. 10 and 3 I can already see will give me minus 7. So I don't need to go find the other factors. I can just use the first one if I want. And so we get x and x. Now how would you make minus 7? Well that would be minus 10 plus 3. So minus 10 plus 3. Now we look at the number 20 which is 5 times 4 or 20 times 1. And there's a few others but I straight away 20 and 1 can make 19. How? By saying minus 20 plus 1. So we open up two brackets and we say y and y, then minus 20 and plus 1. Looking at the number 10, that's 5 times 2, I can stop straight away because 5 and 2 does make minus 7 by saying minus 5 minus 2. And so I open up two brackets and I say w and w and minus 5 minus 2. Here's the last 3 for this lesson. So the number 5 is the same as 5 times 1 and straight away 5 and 1 can make 6 by saying 5 plus 1. So we open up our two brackets and we say x and x, we say plus 5 and plus 1. This one does not look like a trinomial because there's x's in all the terms. However, we should always remember, see what you can take out. You must always do that. With all the others, we haven't been able to take anything out. But in this one, we can take out an x and then you would be left with x squared minus 3x minus 4. Now this is a trinomial. So you look at the number 4, which is 4 times 1. Now a 4 and a 1 can make minus 3 by saying minus 4 plus 1. So then how do we write our answer? Well the x that you took out, that must go first. Then you do your two brackets with x and x and then we say minus 4 and plus 1. And so this is your final answer. With this one over here, this one's got 4x's, this one's got 3x's, and this one's got 2x's. So we can take out 2, and then we're left with x squared minus 7x plus 10. Now this is a trinomial. So we treat it like a trinomial, and so 10 is the same as 5 times 2. Yes, it can also be written as 10 times 1, but I can straight away see that 5 and 2 will make minus 7 by saying minus 5 minus 2. So we then keep the x squared that we already found, we open up two brackets and you're going to get x, well let me squeeze this over here, you're going to get x and x 
and then we said minus 5 minus 2. And so your final answer is that over there with the x squared in the front. Sorry, this, oh, there is an x squared there. I thought I'd forgotten it. It's just hiding. So this is the last one. The number 100 is the same as 50 times 2. And I can stop there because 50 and 2 can make minus 48 by saying minus 50 plus 2. How do I know that? Well, if you use a calculator, you can type in a few different things. You can type in 50 plus 2. You can type in 50 minus 2. You can type in minus 2 plus 50. And you keep going until you get minus 48. So we're going to use minus 50 plus 2 because that does make minus 48. And so it's going to be x and x, then minus 50, and then plus 2. That's it. Thanks for watching.